Hey, how you guys doing there? Gianni from uh, Chronic Health, the making of a high-performance individual coming at you once again to emphasize those three things that we need to do to maintain good health. Number one is exercise. I don't know what your level is. All I can tell you is move the body or lose it. You cannot do a push-up, do have a push-up. And you cannot run, you start walking. Uh, eventually you start moving that up that ladder. Uh, number two is very important, and that's nutrition. The food that we get, the commercial food that we get in the supermarket, just doesn't cut it. Uh, there's a lot of bad, more than good, right? And mostly does not have nutrients, the nutrients that we need. And for that, we're gonna use technology. This is what we think, that we have all this technology, all these advances, right? To figure out what we need and put it literally, you know, to work for us. That it's gotta be nutritious. It's gotta be all the amino acids, all the vitamins, all the proteins, all the minerals, plus, plus, plus the things that your body needs. And that's something I've been working on with all these companies trying to figure out, right? Because all you gotta do is look, I'm not trying to get big, I'm downsizing, right? I'm staying at 170 pounds, right? I lost about 20 pounds from one, 190 that used to be big to smaller, right? I don't want my organs to be big. The bigger that you are, the bigger that your organs have to be. The more blood you got upon, the more oxygen you need. That's a recipe for disaster, the long run. We're talking about longevity here, right? So that's why I use the body and use your body as the source of the, the the max weight that you can carry around, right? The less weight, the less that you weigh, the the less you have to carry around. So, for example, that's why I love calisthenics or working working out on the floor with my body, uh, with, my, with my legs running. If you can't run, to start uh, walking. I'm into doing pull ups, muscle ups, dips, and it's literally hanging from the bar. How long can you last, right? And it depends of the exercises that you do and how tired you get. You know, you, you have your, your life, you have your kids, uh, you got your eight hours of work, how many hours you need to rest, how many hours you need to sleep to be fully rested. However, there's a lot of things that you need to cut, right? Uh, don't watch TV. Sorry, but just give it up. No more movies. Think about this. And that's how I, I've been I do not watch any any TV. I don't watch movies. This is this is a movie. I'm the movie. This is my movie. A movie is, and with all respect, if you gotta watch sports, you gotta watch somebody else play. You do want to run. I don't care if it's the World Cup or the finals of the NBA or Super Bowl. Forget about that nonsense. You're making these people rich. We're talking about your life. I'm talking about my life. And for that, you gotta cut all that off. That time you're gonna need for yourself. You need 20, 30 minutes every day to work out, right? And the way I'm doing it right now, and you should think about this, is not only every single muscle, but every single fiber in, in, within those muscles. And to do that, different angles, different exercises, and improving every time. At my age of 52, how is it possible that I, I, I can do all these things? I'm working on doing my split, right? I'm working on doing more pull-ups. I'm working to do a bunch of uh, muscle ups, right? And, and I've been able to do all those things because I lost weight. All of a sudden, I'm at the bar and I'm doing great. Why? Because I, lo I lost all that weight that I thought it, it, make me, uh, it was making me look good. For what? To show off to who? All those people who want to show off their big, they're not showing off for the girls. They're showing off for the guys. And the same, this is also for females, right? Females also want to be slim. And they want to be slim and not only to be attractive, which they are more attractive than they're slim, right? But this is for your health, so you can last. This is for everybody. This group is for everybody. What I'm trying to do here is prove that we've been, you know, we've been brainwashed into all this culture of vice and and none of that is working none of that is working and if it, and if you agree with me you should think about those three things 
exercise, nutrition, restfulness. Right? It's it's not that complicated. For nutrition, I'm telling you what I have done and have worked for me, and I ask everybody. Right? I'm not trying to convince anybody. I'm doing one single meal a day, intermittent fasting. Uh, fasting. Everybody's telling me, well, I do between 18 and I do 23 hours. A day. 23 hours a day. I do one meal. Right? It's plant based. This is working for me. I'm not telling you to go vegan, vegetarian. I don't label myself. Number one. Right? But I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying the way it was put to me. When was the last time you tried to go on a diet that did not have any animal product? That was a very good question for me. I because you start thinking about from milk, cheese, yogurt, all kinds of meat, grill. Also, almost impossible. It took me six, seven, literally almost eight months in total to give it all up. And what I got was mental clarity, right? I lost weight and all that BS about protein and blah, 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 nonsense. That's in my case. But I would suggest, just give it a try, see what happens to you. And exercise, move it. Cut TV, cut watching nonsense. And just put you, your body to work. Walking, running when you can, push ups on the floor, sit ups, stretching, pull ups, right? Stretching is very important for me right now. I'm loving it. I'm especially mean that I'm not super flexible and I'm getting all my flexibility back. You know, a little bit of jiu jitsu would not, mind, uh, would not be uh, a bad idea or a martial art, whichever. Right? And all it takes is, if you can do an hour, perfect. Look, if you catch your favorite TV show, your favorite movie, you got that hour. But only, all it takes is just 20, 30 minutes every day. Or if you can do it 20, 30 minutes twice a day, it would be even better. Swimming, one of the best, if not the best exercise to lose weight. Swimming, getting into the water, right? And then nutrition, do one meal. You want to do a meal with me? We'll do it. But try, give it a try. Just cut. It's, it's almost impossible, I'll tell you that. But if you can, try. Now, I, I'm really good at dialogue with, my, with my, my single meal. But then, as you start feeling weak, that's when technology comes in. And I use all these supplements, right? To complement my diet, right? Even if you eat meat. You just not get, it. especially if you cook the meat, right? All the nutrients are out of the window. Unless you eat a raw, most people don't eat raw meat or you know fish or whatever. That's what that's what we have technology. We gotta use technology. So what what comes down to is use the extra supplements to get all the nutrients that our body need, and then just rest as many hours to be asleep, as many hours. To be fully rested and that's all so i'm gonna keep posting on this i'm gonna keep posting on my improvement i'm documenting what i'm doing and this has got to be where society is heading the partying it's just can't believe the, the numbers are astonishing the 70 80 percent of, of the population are um, overweight they're sick what are we doing where are we heading how's that life that that's what I'm saying if you guys are on the same page I guess this is the way to go I'm 52 I'm, I'm, I'm my goal is 150 years old so that would be that I'm at one third of my life I'm feeling great I'm feeling awesome right now you know uh, this is the way to do it this, this is the way to live life you just change your mind your head. It's just a switch it's no more party you know it's getting up early in the morning uh, you got kids before the kids go to school just to do 20 minutes on your living room you just all, all you need is just get on the floor right after when you're at work a little squatting here and there you need a wall to be against a wall just get upside down just move it right one single meal a day will just facilitate so much in your life because there's no much shopping there's not much cleaning there's not much going to the bathroom. Literally, you're not full of it because you eat one meal a day. 
and the rest we're gonna complement with all the technology, the nutrients that we need. Plant-based is the best, right? And I'm gonna leave always a link down there for the nutrients that I'm getting, that it's just actually uh, helping me get uh, remain strong at my age. Uh, with one single meal, lost the supplements. That it's, it's not that complicated. Today, uh, I was uh, looking at this friend of mine who did a, a body transformation, 30 days, amazing. Uh, the guy's in his 40s and looking really, really good, like uh, impressive, I impressive. And if I can do it, you can do it, anybody can do it. Let's just bring more people into this kind of lifestyle. It's just a completely change of lifestyle, which is healthy. You don't want to be a, a mediocre kind of life, right? This is high performance. And how do you start becoming high performance? Very simple. Don't be low performance, nor medium performance. If you can do achieve those two, then you become a high performance individual. All right, that's all I have for today. I already went 11 minutes, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'll get up tomorrow, uh, 4.39 a.m., uh, 5 to 6. I do stretching, I do yoga, right? I'm getting better at it. Uh, I got time, so from um, five to six, then I got half of my shake, my protein shake. I'm gonna leave the the link for the, the nutrients that I'm getting uh, through this company, um, uh, Purium. I'm loving it. They have great products, uh, certified, uh, high-end, pure and premium, right? And, and then I'm, I'm being able to go to hit the bars here in South Florida. Today it was even a little rainy, but I didn't mind. And I worked out from seven to eight. And then at eight, eight o'clock, I'm just so alert, ready to go to work, pumped up. And, and then by now, look, uh, it's, what time is it right now? Let's see, what time is it? It's nine o'clock and within the next 30, 40 minutes, I'm already in bed and I go to sleep like a baby. I sleep, I'm sleeping six and a half, a little over six and a half hours. And that's uh, my eyes pop, pop open at 6.39, between 6.38 and 6.41. This is amazing. It's, it's, it's a window of four or five minutes. My eyes just pop open. That's all I need to sleep. I'm fully rested. I uh, jump out of bed and I, I go about my day. All right, let's, let's do this. I'll see you tomorrow.